Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my god. Oh my. What is. No, 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 no. 97. Can we go in? Can we go in? Woohoo! Fuck the queue. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Silly hood back in business here on the highway. Oh boy, that was an unexpected server restart. Mm. Alrighty. So, we are traveling the highway. And remember, when I was talking shit about like... Um, right direction? Yeah, cool. When I was talking shit about like, oh, I don't have any hack clients because... Oh my gosh, wait, options... Um, chat settings, chill that scale, man. Um, I was talking about, oh no, I don't have any hack clients because I feel so superior. I'm such a hacker man. Um, and I don't install closed source proprietary software. I want to audit all the lines myself and I read every line in the Linux kernel. No! No, the only reason I didn't have a hacked client because I couldn't afford future and now I was sucking a bunch of dick to get damn gold coin and now I have purchased future fucking client. It is me hacking on 2 b 2 t No, guys, I'm, I'm of course joking. This is a OBS overlay. <laughs> I'm so funny. I actually like took... Um, you know, some YouTube reference uh, image and then I recreated that. I downloaded the fucking Minecraft font and recreated that shadow and spent like 10 minutes in GIMP to create this OBS overlay. Only to prank you! No! <laughs> didn't work, didn't work. Oh my gosh. But, check this out. BOOM! Oh, how do you get out? Yeah. <laughs> I got another overlay. And check out this overlay, like it also has hovering, you know, that's OBS Premium Edition. No, anyways, so... <laughs> Who's confused right now? Who, who is confused? Did, did I manage to do it or does everybody understand? Do you see that? Like I have MultiMC Fuck My Life Edition now. So, um, I did some research and I realized, like, in the last session, someone was talking about cell hack, right? And Cellhack actually is open source. And I audited the source code, I confirmed it's an IP grabber, but you know security only depends on your threat model. And you know IP grabbing and leaking coordinates is essentially not in my threat model because you know, who gives a fuck? I have a fucking German dynamic IP that changes. You can find out the region where I live in because I don't use a fucking VPN. Or do I? You never know. Anyways, so like what the fuck are you going to do with that? You know, DDoS my IP and I restart my router and uh, you know, what are you gonna do? Anyways, and leaking cords. I'm a fucking public person. Here are my cords. Here are my cords. My cords are minus two, seven, six. 722 slash 276 nether highway how are you going to leak public coordinate what you gonna do okay so the only concern that i have is that this client's heavily backdoored and mines bitcoin on my system and i don't know leaks my nudes and child porn that i have all over my disk you know that's what i don't want to happen so I skimmed the source code of Cellhack and it seems like it like the only fishy thing I saw it does a request to cellhack.com slash capes.txt to get um, you know cape information. So if they track um, IP addresses correlated with connection messages on 2B2 toggle connection messages on 2B2T, they can be able to, you know find out my IP and shit like that but other than that there are 16 contributors which is not too much but it's not only one dude like messing around and uh, uploading one um, whole source code without commit history to, to, uh, to github and then um, you know it's kind of new 
Nobody looked over the source code. Nobody contributed. That's kind of fishy. But 16 people spent enough time looking at the source code to be able to contribute. I didn't look at the size of the contributions, but we also have 11 pending pull requests, 81 issues and 100 stars. So it seems like some people were fiddling around with the source code. Mm. For example, with the project T-Worlds, github.com slash T-Worlds slash T-Worlds, there are over, oh, I think DDNet has over 100. I think both projects have over 100 um, contributors. The source code, the whole source base is not too big. So I'm kind of certain that the whole source code has been like audited by multiple people at least. And um, even myself uh, have read and understood the, can I call it majority? A, a big, big fucking portion of the source code. Um, with Salhack, I try to skim through everything, but it is so many files. Are you fucking kidding me? And like all this Java, I hate fucking Java, man. And um, only empty classes and functions and Oh, I keep pressing. So the problem is, uh, well, anyways, so I realized that my awesome launcher, uh, MultiMC, what is going on here? MultiMC, which is also open source, good software, runs fine on my Linux. By the way, I use Arch system, motherfuckers. And um, which is actually a cool, uh, you know, launcher. I used to use the official launcher, but... I got like Minecraft crashes, especially in 1.12, because I think, well, I, I'm not sure the official launcher doesn't select, um, doesn't let you select the Java version. And you know, my Java Open JDK 11 for 20, whatever crashes the old school 1.12 Minecraft version. So I had to install 1.8 and uh, specify that Java version exactly in my multi-MC because by default I don't want to use some outdated crap Java. Anyways, so that's why multi-MC rocks, otherwise I wouldn't probably be able or like I had to, I don't know, well fuck my life, multi-MC saved me some headache, it's kinda nice and um, they only track you with Google and anal analytics, man. Anyways, so the thing is, uh, Forge seems to be open source, but um, I didn't bother like building Forge myself since, you know, it's probably, and like their build instructions were talking about Eclipse and cancel like that. I'm not going to download some bloat IDE on my lean slick system. Um, so yeah, that's that. But like um, multi MC. The awesome launcher just has a button to like install Forge and then it will download the release, which essentially I could have done myself. But you know, when I open source projects, downloads, pre-built binaries, I you know make that assumption that they have done the auditing for me and that they picked the the right mirror and stuff like that. If I do it myself, you know. I want to do it correct. If I trust MultiMC, I trust them that they audited and trust Forge, right? So that's that. Anyways, um, yes. So then uh, Solhack is super duper easy to compile without any fucking IDE. You just execute Gradle wrapper and um, with two arguments, then you, you know, your things and bam, you're done. So I'm running my self-compiled cell hack from master updated 18 days ago. Um, you know, so what is this client? Essentially, I don't know. I was told, I know it's, well, I know a little bit more um, than you guys do if you only watched my videos. But um, essentially in the, one of the last sessions, as I said already, one guy was talking about, fuck okay, uh, about cell hack and mentioned it's open source, which was also already mentioned about oh, 777, you know, we need a sign, man, we need a sign. Uh, 
which was also mentioned about impact and you know impact is not is not open source so that was a big scam but anyways um, seven 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 is it here 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 two seven seven uh, how many seven seven is heaven the zilly hoon 1999 <laughs> i'm so funny i actually didn't place the sign in 1999 it was in 2020 but nobody's gonna find out <laughs> so um, you you might be able to tell that I had some coffee and I'm kind of excited about my cracked kind Which is not cracked but hacked. So where was I? Um, oh, yeah So I was told and I think I've actually visited the github um, During the last episode. Oh, by the way My computer fucking crashed the recording crashed and my computer crashed while moving the recording, so I think I've lost one whole fucking episode plus 10 minutes uh, of me walking the highway and being quiet. So that's a big loss um, of my complete documentation. Uh, I kinda raged a lot. Well, actually I didn't bother, like who gives a fuck. Anyways, so that's that. Super sad. Very sad. You know, I, I can't do the Trump voice. Anyways, so where was I? Where was I? Yes, so we, we looked at the client. I looked, you couldn't see shit. And then I was like, you know, that looks actually kind of open source. But it's unmaintained so that Ionar2 guy rage quitted the development. But if we have the last contribution, can I confirm my OBS is blocking my site? Um, 18 days ago, so that's maybe I can disable. Ah, let's keep that future thing there. That's a kind of cool troll. So only you insiders who actually watch these episodes know that I have scam future OBS overlay, and everybody else will be in the comments. Oh, how are you so rich? You can't afford future. And what is this version? That's super outdated. And anyways, so only you are now the insiders. So what was I going to say? Yeah, and then today waiting in the queue, I was like, ah, maybe I should check out this soul hack again. And then I found about um, that it's Forge. I mean, I found about that uh, out already in the last episodes anyway. So I was going through Forge again, and then it was like, oh, multi MC can do that. Mm, uh, yeah, slurp it in, man. And then it was like easy to build. Awesome. Then I quickly skimmed through the source code and was like, ah, yeet. Let's um, compile that and slap it in there. So. Now you know what's going on. So what does that mean now? What, what's going on? I actually, the only modification I did to Minecraft ever in my 15,000 years of experience of Minecraft was installing Node. That was the cool kids um, VBot 13x37 bot from Minecraft in the old days. Anyways, so yeah, and I, I I wasn't a Node Power user. I watched 17 YouTube videos to figure out how to use X-Ray, and that's it. And that's what I've been doing. I've never installed a um, texture pack. Well, in my my old like Minecraft, I kind of restarted Minecraft for 2v2t. Um, so uh, let me quickly. Install my manual auto walk, but I have a cacked client now. Anyways, um, so I'm trying to explain you why I still place obstacles on my keyboard to not have to press the button now that I'm elite hexoman. So the thing is, yeah, I used Node at some point. It was probably literally a decade ago, and I wasn't a power user, and I didn't do it for long, and um, that's that. So when I started Minecraft again, I figured out that installing and creating texture packs is actually something that is feasible. So I created my texture packs that hide um, weather, 
and um, the wither boss bar and decrease the uh, fire texture so you can see shit while you're swimming in lava. And so that's that. But, oh, and I also found about found out about options.txt, so I cranked up my gamma. Couldn't create an x-ray texture pack though because I'm kind of stupid. Mm. And yeah, don't die now. That would be, oh, imagine dying now. Imagine. So anyways, mm, when I installed that client, Salhack, which was essentially just slapping in that compiled jar file into a mods directory. Wow, that's such a plug and play, you know? I don't know why I was always like, ah, I don't want that shit. It's actually kind of cool, isn't it? And um, yeah, so then, it, then I was there and I was like, do I have it installed? How do magnets work and shit? And I quickly um, did some research and found out that if you press the left arrow, Woo! Arrow! You open this motherfucker and it stops my walking. That's shit. And um, are we walking in the right direction? Yeah, and that's it. That's essentially my whole experience with that client. So I have no clue how it works. I have no clue how dangerous it is. I didn't ch test it in single player. And I most certainly did not fucking test it on 2B and I don't know if I can get banned for hacking, if I can get kicked by anti-cheat for turning on anti-hunger. I don't know if I disconnect, if I turn on nuker and shit like that. So um, yeah, that's why. I, also, I'm kind of busy explaining you shit, so that's why I can't figure out how this client works. So did I say everything that I wanted to say? I think I did. So maybe I should click around in the client and get some stuff done. Anyway, so please get this client, build a bigger user base than Impact so that developer Iona2 realizes, man, he's a fucking awesome genius and that he has to continue uh, maintaining and contributing to that cell hack client because free software now, <laughs> um, join us, but who? So, awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, let's do this. Let's, let me remove that shit. So where do we do it? That's a bad position. Where, where did I put it in the first place? Bang, it's probably so big and I can't even, uh, movement, I need movement and I can't, I can't read it. Can I move the movement? Oh, wow, I can overlap it. Where is it? Is it in the background now? Uh, fucking hot. Well, but maybe if I have Forge now and I have this thing installed, maybe I can finally figure out how to modify a Minecraft client myself so I can maybe fix my UI issues. And I really dislike that you can't walk while you have this menu open. That is, um, that is actually bad. Uh, levitating, and my English is too bad. Oh my goodness. Okay, so that one works. Okay. Okay, how do I turn it off? Do I, like, do I have to press so many buttons okay that's that's kind of cool that is actually cool so i can finally look in my inventory while walking but i feel like maybe i have to deactivate it because there's something dangerous in front of me and um i will chill here all day it would be nice if the inventory would be more transparent though maybe i can fix that in a texture pack probably um, because you know while walking that's it's kind of you know dangerous if you if the main view is blocked um anyway so wow that's kind of cool isn't it 
but how can I activate it like uh, is there any way to activate deactivate all hacks should I get my laptop to do some research about how to use the client oh my gosh I'm get I'm getting kicked man I wonder if I can just easily slap in baritone as a mod uh, in Forge. But um, we'll see about that. So. Walking the highway has never been so exciting, man. So exciting. So. Let's see, let's do some research. It's probably, I love how all these clients have the same menu. It's like, probably they have similar shortcuts of switching between clients. It's, um, Always a good user experience. Not that my note experience matters, <laughs> but uh, I know like um, ah, I still uh, yeah. Oh, there's a subreddit for that. Okay, cool. Um, Twenty days ago, by the same guy who edited the text radar eighteen days ago. So it seems like that guy's. Yeah, this sub was created as a place for Celtic community to post and express themselves just in case Discord decides to de-platform de us again. Ha, huh. fucking Discord. Well, the, the Discord, about a week ago, they deleted our Discord, uh, Discord of over 8,000 members. Oh, cool. So there seems to be a Celtic community. Interesting. Um, or is it not regarding the client? Is this like... They also seem to promote the Pyro client on the Cellhack development um, YouTube channel, which is kind of hilarious since that's a different client. Anyways, so. Okay. How do you add friends? Installation is an open band from Discord. Give Cellhack um, Discord in my please. Um. Is there some documentation? Is there some Salhack user guide? Let's go to um, the GitHub again. Salhack. You have said you have read the whole source code and you know how shit works. Yes. Fuck yourself. Anyways. Um, is there a wiki? Nah. What is going on here? My pickaxe is broken. <laughs> Why is this so useless, man? Why? It's too fast. Wait, is the inventory not working while auto walking? Is it read only? Or am I just lagging? No, it's working. So now efficiency three doesn't work either. So Oh come on. I really need a better way to um, deactivate shit. Um, uh, let's ask the helpful chat how to deactivate all uh, hex like all modules or oh, shit. I don't know how to call it. I don't know the correct terms. 
Je me plaisir de fou. Euh... Zaf. Oh my gosh. Okay, support, b -b contact us via Discord. Ah, you fucking idiots. I'm not gonna go to join your Discord. So it seems like jumping is able to merge pull requests and shit like that. So it seems like he's he has push access and that kind of makes him a main developer and 18 days ago makes this project kind of maintained in my opinion. Anyways, so Oh, I laugh. I can. No, this is. Oh, I didn't even realize. I was like, oh, cool. I can chat while I walk. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Ah, oh, I'm having an orgasm right now. This is everything I've ever dreamt about. <laughs> Chatting while walking the highway. Imagine. Ah, oh, awesome. Anyways, so. Managers, what is mixin? Sounds kind of familiar. Cape manager, command manager, command manager. Don't die. Is there some don't die module? Wait, I always press the wrong button. Wong. So, hold smooth packets until disabled. Uh, wow. Uh, burr, burr. Yes, 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 yes. <gasps> I can't walk. Ah! Look at that. No way. This is too good. This is this is too good. Wait. Will it walk into lava? That's the question. That's the question. Unless it just sneak at full speed. Speed strafe. Is that will that kick me? Sprints for you. I could activate auto sprint and auto eat. Last it to walk up blocks like stairs. Locks the rotation for precision. Ooh, wait. How does that work? That's kind of weird, isn't it? What do we have here? Why is my scrolling so fucked? Combat. Schematic. Wait. No, 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 no. Did I activate something? I don't know what that shit is. What? No.
Uh, wait, I need probably anti AFK before I get kicked. Anti. Make sure you don't. Wait, let's switch those. Make sure you don't get kicked for AFKing. What does it do? Oh, it requested slash stats. Interesting. That is so awesome. Oh, look at this. I'm so safe now. That That is actually a very good feature to walk the highway. I should probably still figure out if I can walk into lava and fire. I can also walk into withers most likely, but this is, this is giving me some, yeah, way more safety. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So save, uh, b speed strafe. What does that do? Can you even strafe? Is that a thing? But that probably doesn't work too good with the safe one. Um, so where is my auto eat? Da -da. No. <laughs> what? Um, mm. Oh, it's anything nearby. It's food depending on hunger or health. Do I have to have the food in my hand or like, will it find it and which food? Wait, it says automatically sprint. But it doesn't really sprint, does it? Oh my gosh, I can use these fucking keys. And... Wow, you can play Minecraft without a mouse. Is that a cell C feature? And it's kind of annoying that it does it while looking at the HUD. Wait, sprint automatically sprints for you. Okay, so if I walk normally, then I sprint. But if I activate the hack, auto walk, then that doesn't work. So how do I sprint all the time? But that's kind of cool, so I can still change the direction while being in that menu, so... Um, I don't know what that means, man. Um, Um, hmm. That's cool. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. I went to write text signs. Do you walk into portals? Yeah, I wouldn't consider portals safe, but um, maybe um, I could like improve that. Oh, I'm so excited because I feel like I could actually touch client stuff now if I... Well, let me clarify. Me skimming the source code for backdoors doesn't mean reading the Minecraft related crap and trying to understand how to write Minecraft mods. I was just looking at stuff that 
tries to integrate with the system, that does um, requests over the network, tries to install some rootkits, and I was skipping over all the Minecraft related stuff. So that's why I have no clue about shit. And that's why I could actually do it in a reasonable amount of time. So, okay, I am, um, I'm not sure if, um, if that should be fixed. Maybe I should open an issue about that. Or maybe I should deactivate that in my options, but it's actually a kind of good feature. Um, so the signs, why is it, can I, it's kind of hard to tell which is which if they have all the same name. Is it my hut? Is it like, did I configure something wrong? How does that work? I'm schematica. But how, how, what kind of science that will it work? Uh, right. Um, Nah. Nah. You bitch, I want to change the text. Can I change them? Yeah, I could probably change that in my source code. I wish I like when I while I walk, I placed a few signs here and there automatically to advertise to leave some advertisement trail on the highway. But uh, that's probably not a feature of um, Sark client. Uh, Ooh, a loss for chat modifications, wait. Ah, okay, so it adds the time. <gasps> I wish, uh, I wonder how that messes with the logs. <laughs> wait, can I, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, let's do that somewhere else. Uh, I keep pressing escape. Um. I wish I had a hack that locks my view um, directional, like um, diagonal, so I can walk straight the highway um, without having to fiddle around all the time. Uh. Notifies you in chat and notification system when a mod is enabled to save it. Yes, that's kind of cool. Steals contents from chess? No. That's kind of cool. Shows Discord rich presence of this mod. Someone's effect here. Wait, logs and check. Where global sound happen. Can send current location if. Wait, makes your chat retarded? Huh? 
How is my chat retarded now? Oh, come on. I can't even read the whole thing. <sighs> Shit. Ooh. Allows you to... Okay, wait, maybe I can actually search that one in the in the source code um, to see if there are any interesting ones. That sounds feasible. Oh, fuck, I hit my mouse. Oh, auto walk is really nice. So I, not my whole keyboard is blocked now and I can actually press F3 without errors. That's kind of cool. I need a lock aim command. So let me quickly download the source code over here. Um, let's make some advertisement. Okay, so let's search for uh, ba -ba, visual. Why did I also cut it? Enters or leaves. So we search for enters or leaves in the source code. Ah, fuck. So it is. Where is it? Why can't I see shit? Um. Okay, so, ah, misc, mm-hmm. X carry, wait, is, are these totem throw? No, are these sorted the same way? Uh, anyway, so I can read that one, X carry module. Allows you to carry items in your crafting and dragging slot. Ooh, fancy. No way that works. I feel like I could lose items. Wait, let me activate that. I have the feeling that auto walk like kind of messes with, um, with my inventory. Imagine I have to scroll up that slowly when when shit's going down to like stop my moving. I probably will die. No way. Wait, where is it now? Ah, oh, fuck. Options? No. Why is scrolling so fucked? X carry allows you to carry items in your crafting and dragging slot. Wait, drag crafting. Yeah, drag. Yeah, that's the crafting slot. On disables and packet, packet person, and get packet. Is that fixed on um, to be maybe or that would be actually I would be able to carry more stuff that's um, valuable. So maybe better deactivate that shit 
if it doesn't work. Walking the right direction, yes we are. So that's that. Do I have the world module anywhere here? Or is it maybe out of sight or something like that? Should I probably... Mm, do it, um, settings wow that's dangerous isn't it options video settings yeah it's maybe a little bit small um yeah like this aha okay da -da. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really have some UI issues. The, oh, UI. Maybe I can resize stuff here. Anyways, so that's... Ah, and now I can actually read the, the thing. You can probably not see shit anymore, but my screen is big ass, man. So, um, let's see. Uh, button. Why is it showing my mouse? Oh, yeah, probably because I need... Now, oh, come on. Fuck shit. So, um, render prevents fog from being rendered. Highlights the block your weight. Looking at uh, brightness makes the word brightness. Uh, wow. Nah, that's kind of scary. Nah, let's not do that. <laughs> to see. Uh, blocks that if broken. Uh, ah, highlights different kind of stuff. Oh, wait. Let me. Wait, 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 wait. Auto walk. Test. I found some lava. Can I? Oh, maybe options. Ah, fuck. Auto sprint is kind of shit. Yeah, so I can walk into that. And I can also walk into that. So, safe walking is not too safe. I don't get damage. I thought I have auto eat activated. Ah yeah, okay, now it switches to the bread. I didn't press a button and it doesn't eat. Uh, 20, right direction, cool. Okay, now it eats up, uh, probably just, ah, uh, wait, let me, re something like that so um out of walk I have no F3 here um, so that is sad that safe walk yeah it's only falling off isn't it so that is good yes um, no doubt but I would prefer to not walk into lava and fire as well. Do I have a caffeine mode here? No, I don't. Is it an extension? Should I install a caffeine mode real quick? Mm. Let me, or do I even have to order this is good anymore? I probably don't. Okay, so let's close that shit. It's so exciting, so many things here to explore. Oh, can I press shift and then, no, it's always so, I wish it was less strong. 
I could also probably ah. <sighs> free cam. So wait. Um or should I I can't really position it. Um, uh, velocity. Mm, that's probably bad. Yeah, I think if I now see chests, like I want to see chests that are like, you know, some x-ray. I think that's the thing, Hydex, different kind of storages. For farms, hmm. oh, I'm ca getting kind of dizzy looking at that. I don't know. No, Bob. Oh, that's the kind of has different kind of storages. Oh, I think that is a um, typo, isn't it? Or like not a typo, but different kind of entities. Worth a pull request, isn't it? Um, so tracers, isn't it activated? Isn't that the entity? What kind of entity are you to not be traced? Hunger, core TP. Mm -hmm. New chunks. Ah, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Um, how do I get it back? Command. Um, can I press tab? Uh, click. Uh, oh my gosh, can I auto walk? Toggle. No, I. <laughs> no, how can I? How do I press enter? No, 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 I can't stop my auto walk anymore. You must be kidding me. Ah, I got it back. Okay, cool. Just place the click guy. I'm getting nuts here. That's weird. Ah, that's the console. So it opens the console. Can I bind? <gasps> oh, bind module key! Oh my gosh, auto walk! Uh, uh, what key do I have left? Wait. M. Okay. Uh, yes, 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 yes. No. Uh, wait. Bind console. One. How do I press enter though? <laughs> that is um, that is the question. Oh, oh, I see these 
lines now. What do they trace though? Are they entities or should probably not yeah, fuck entities, so it's only storage tracers given entity. That's probably only dropped netherrack, isn't it? Mm. Huh. How does the console work? Type a command to get help. Oh, I can't execute a command, can I? Wait. Console. Console. Toggle. Do I, can't I press enter or something? And why is my blinking thing over here? Is this broken for me? Console was disabled. Bind. Is that a module? Uh, is there a module called bind? Da, 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 da. Or is this a console command? <sighs> Hi toggle rename name. This place to click. Can I press enter? Can I like Uh, chat okay ah wait I can now chat settings wow it's still not big enough hilarious um I send commands and cell hack console uh, press Pressing enter and cell hack console does. Wait, I can't use the arrow keys. Now they are switched, by the way. Place the hat. Ooh! Oh, oh, oh. Wait, how does it work? Um. Can I resize shit here? Oh, cool! It shows my inventory. And it shows. Oh, the cell hack shit. Okay, that's cool. I like it. it. Oh, it's covered by my future. <laughs> Watermark from OBS. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mhm. 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 So that's maybe a cell hack feature that I can move with the arrow keys here. This place the hard editor. Okay, so. Ah, I can probably activate shit here, like um, armor and um, tooltip direction. Ah, direction is kind of cool. Um, oh, TPS, awesome. Time, mm, biome, hell, fucking hell. Uh, codes, awesome. Um, oh, we can I can have that. Keystrokes. Nah. Play account. Interesting. Player frame. <laughs> what is your? Is that like, um, yeah, that's not used there. That's overlapping. Stopwatch. PvP info. Watermark is cool because I want to advertise cell hack. Um, I love then you that you can um, toggle that. Can I reposition it as well? Oh my gosh, sure I can. Let's put it next to the 
future wait what is that even future is here let's put it next to that what is that Can I now actually in my inventory or like? Yeah, that's weird. It's not. Uh... So there's no resizing or shit here. That's that. Ah! That's nice. Um, wait, hot editor. Da -da. Notifications. Mm -hmm. What the heck is that? Is that a cell C1 logo that is uh, that died? Key bindings. Oh, how? Wait, where is it? Wait, where are you? Is it? Had it to a key binding. So wait, was it? What's there? It's here. Had it a key bindings. No, what is this thing? Yes, I want to do that. How do I? How do I do it? Ah, my logo is back. Nice. Can I move it? Nah. Um, ah, right click. Oh wow, you can right click shit. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Okay, wait. Can I right click? <gasps> that is a big interesting thing, isn't it? I can fucking right click stuff. Uh, safe walk. Speed, sprint, step, your wait, height. Ah, um, that took me a while to figure out. So, key bindings. Um, key bindings for what, though? Shift, shift, strict shift. Wait, what was it? Auto walk, stop. Is this a totem? Wait, auto walk? Ah, where is it? <gasps> he found a totem. No way! I found a to. I found a totem. Okay, wait. Let me options. No way! 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 Oh my goodness! Oh my! Goodness, oh my goodness. Um, uh, I found a totem, can you believe it? I found a totem, wait. Ah, oh, no, I can't fix my UI with this UI. Ah, uh, snap. Okay, so, Aegis time. You? What do you have? Yes! Okay, is this the. Wait, is this the sick touch one? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's not really um uh... Yeah, what the fuck? I just wanted to have a building block in here. I found a totem. I fucking found a totem. Du -du. 
I found a totem and I still don't know how to or to walk. Okay, key bindings. What? Who are you? Strict shift. Activate strict key bindings when shift is done. Ah. Activate strict key bindings. Hide key bindings from array list. Array list, array list, array list. Key binder. Set the key for mod. Yes, 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 yes. Press a key, press a key. Uh, M. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. And now? Press any key. Key M? No. How does it work? That's the key for module key one. Key binds was disabled, enabled. Yeah, but um Can't I do that? Oh here, key bind oh my god, I'm so stupid. Okay, wait, check this out. Finally. So, what is a good key? Um, how to walk, what is X? Um, or is M actually a good key to auto walk? I'm not sure. I can't press it in here. Key bindings. Yeah, wait, I have to fix the mess I made in key bindings. What's the default though? Can I unbind this shit? Um, what is keybinds even? Allows you to modify the behavior of keybinds. Um. Okay, now it's only auto walk. That is good. Cool, then I don't know if M is a good key to be honest. I do not know. Cons wait, no, 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 wait, I didn't mean to do that. Console key bind F1. Okay, that works. Mm -hmm. Love it. Yeah, it kind of interferes with the hot keybind, but um, better than taking a screenshot, isn't it? Or should I use C? Um, uh, console key, wait. Keybind. Or oh, is there anything on the key C? No, not D, C. So I can open console with C now, that's cool. I like the console, still don't know how it works, but I never done this, like it. Um, so, hard editor, wait. Hard editor, hidden, gra. So, um, yeah, let's, inventory is actually cool. That's cool as well. That's maybe not important. That's also not too important. Oh, that's actually cool that for me to check if I'm, I don't have to look at coordinates anymore. Um, yeah, that's a bit bloaty. Player frame, yeah, nearest entity. Ah! 
Okay, so that's that's cool. That's um, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, fuck that. And yeah, let's fuck my future. Oh, I can still put it under there. That's cool. Okay. So if I now. What? I don't have safe walk activated? When did that happen? Okay. Um, yeah, I wanted to get the fucking big, yeah, I think the array is not, <laughs> um, I don't know, video settings. Can I resize shit? No. What's that? Ah, that's my crafting slot. Okay. So, yeah, that's that. Brightness. Ba -ba. I think I've. Automatically mines different kind of 2D tunnels in the direction you're facing. Mm. No glitch blocks? No way, no way, no way. Wait. <gasps> wow, that is kind of cool. It's not really fast, but at least it's not glitchy, is it? So we are facing the correct direction. That's cool. That's the wrong one. Wait, minus x plus z. Why does it say plus X? Are we going? I thought we are going. Yeah, because it's the wrong direction, isn't it? Haven't been walking the wrong direction sometime. Yeah, so this is the right direction. Minus X plus Z. Yeah. Wait, I, I I didn't walk in the wrong direction for some time, did I? Is anti-AFK just sending commands? That's hilarious. Okay, so we are good to go. Um, can't press that key here. No. 
Everybody keeps saying for everything Nuka is so good and it's the best thing uh, in chat. Have you ever noticed like how Nuka in chat is like praised the same way as Alta 4 is the solution for everything? Nuka is the solution for everything. I, I will try Nuka at the end of the session when I want to disconnect because boy i really have the feeling that shit's about to happen when you activate that thing uh places blocks under you okay interesting uh, even faster i mean i want to break them slower generated waypoints what are waypoints though Lock chests, it is see. But where do we lock them? That is the question. Minus plus, that's correct, is it? Um, where do we lock them? Like, do we lock them and then send them to someone? Uh, The heck okay I feel like this is getting me kicked Right, so what this finds to a file. Interesting, let me quickly look at the source code of that. That is kind of interesting. I do need a aim locker, that is important. Video settings, bam. Zombie Pikmin, oh, that's a little bit too low, is it? Hard editor, where is my yeah notifications are also. Oh, this is going to look so bloated. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, can someone please fix this game? Okay, so I was interested in the stash logger. What? I press stash logger module. Um, number of tests and formula, uh, log test, donkey, and uh, none. Get current server data, single player, replace uh, cell hex dash finder. Okay, current direct Get current directory, cell hex dash finder.txt. Okay. Do I have SSH activated? Can I? Like SSH into my machine. SSH. <laughs> Destination unreachable. Um, let me quickly. Can I? Should I? No, I shouldn't. IPA. My IP is 54. Why do you? BTC hosts. Oh, 
Oh, I already had the correct host. If I have a different IP over Wi-Fi. Okay, so um, connection refused. Do I have no SSH server running? Um, this is well, uh, SSH system CTS status SSHD loaded inactive dead um, start SSHD. Okay, SSH is up and running. Why do you need SSH? No. So that I can. Oh, fuck. Uh, control my desktop from my laptop because you know tabbing out and shit it's um i can now you see full screen where i fiddle around cd local share multi mc instances and then what did it say in the source code uh yeah i probably go into the minecraft directory and then there should be a select yes and then we have whoa code exploit what is that there's nothing in there um what was the code exploit yeah i'm not going to see shit now i wish i had a faster way to rescale my ui i can look it up here Code exploit code tp um, teleport exploit for ender pearls tpa etc. Player just teleported to. Can you leak coordinates? If, well, whatever I don't know. So we have code exploit death spots, fallen's hut. Graphical user config, custom modules, custom, oh, custom mods, interesting. Lockout spots, music, modules, stash finder. I probably didn't find a stash yet, yes. Okay, interesting. Uh, stash logger, wait, did I, did it, stash finder. So the stash logger creates a stash finder directory, interesting. Uh, or uses it. Um, get to type. Where where does it write name? Get control. But where does it put the information? I don't see where it puts like coordinates and shit. So it gets the name, name, and then writes server name and gets the current time and then it writes a file but um where isn't that useless if you only have a name and the where are the coordinates i don't see it sent message shaka box ah okay here it does something and here we get the coordinates interesting okay cool mm -hmm. kind of cool module that's probably worth activating anyways so that's that probably add my ssh key in here authorized i don't have any authorized keys Ooh. um i'm not even don't i have like
Ah, wrong list. So, I have to go to P real quick. Should I keep walking? I mean, I won't fall into holes and um, yeah, but I will walk into withers and lava. I don't know if I should stop walking or not. Wow, I didn't realize we're recording since one hour and 26 minutes already. So I should probably do a cut here. Um, wow, I was too excited. About it. I, I took like one and a half hours to, and I'm still haven't figured out the full climb yet. What, what in the journey? Mm. Anyways, so let me quickly restart the recording here. See you in the next one.